Hi, I'm Andy Ian Bell from Member RT121, and I'm here at Robbie Burns' Birthplace Museum to tell you all how to enjoy whiskey. Hello, in this video we'll be teaching you how to store scotch, which is very important if you want to keep it and enjoy it in later life. The first thing you have to consider when storing scotch is how to avoid direct sunlight and light from indoors. This can have a very, very bad effect on the whiskey. Also, it's very important to avoid any extreme changes in temperature, so it must never be stored next to heaters or boilers. What you're looking for is a lovely, slightly cool, dark place, preferably with a lock, just to make sure you keep it safe. Another particularly important point with scotch is to avoid putting it anywhere where any damage can happen to the bottle. About a broken bottle is tears before bedtime, but any slight nick to the top can start the bottle evaporating, and that's also very bad. Whenever it starts evaporating, it's time to drink it, but useless for collecting. Another great thing to consider when storing scotch is how to actually position the bottle. Now this is the correct one. This is wrong. No matter what anybody tells you, do not store it on its side. The higher alcohol within the bottle will slowly burn away at the cork, which again will slowly start to fed the foil, which will again start the evaporation rate down. And once that starts, it doesn't stop. Now if you're a collector of whiskey, one of the best places to keep your collection is actually in sealed cardboard boxes. Now I know you don't get a chance to enjoy the lovely labels, but it will actually keep it in much better condition and much, much more safer. Again, you want to avoid the light, the heat and breakages. Nothing better than a sealed box in a safe place. To summarise when storing scotch, avoid bright light, changes in temperature, store in a secure and safe place, and preferably have a lock and key if you've got friends like mine. And that's how to store scotch.